Hey, this is Freefall. Um, I'm going to be doing a very fast-paced tutorial on TeamSpeak 3 server. There's been some problems with people installing it. Um, basically, on uh, the day I've been asked questions, I'm sorry if I've been trying to explain something to you and it was disconnected from the main server. I don't know why that's been happening, but the main server has been overloaded, apparently, obviously, because it was the first day of the beta. Um, okay, basically what you have here is the TeamSpeak 3... Um, server application. I'm running Windows 32-bit, uh, Microsoft Windows XP. Uh, this pretty much applies to pretty much other, every other version. I'm not going to be doing anything specifically that would change that. Um, okay, basically when, when you start this, you will have everything except for uh, files and logs. I've already started my TeamSpeak 3 server. I just deleted the settings, so um, it will just be like I restarted it again. Um, basically here, it will appear the first time it should pop up with server admin and your password. Uh, I would save this, uh, write it down somewhere in a text file. Um, I have PW text document right here that stores it. Um, you need to know this. It will not appear again once you see it. This is the only time. Uh, next time I restart the server, it will disappear. Um, if, if it does disappear, um, the TS3 server right here, the SQLITEDB file, um, delete it. It will delete all your settings, but it will pop up again, and this time maybe you'll learn from your mistake and record it down somewhere. Okay, basically, um, I'm going to start my TeamSpeak uh, client, which is already down here. I'm going to connect. Um, I already have my uh, server in, under my bookmarks. Um, otherwise, you would have to connect to your default IP. Uh, yeah, that we all love spam. Anyways, uh, as you can see, here's the basic server. If you can't connect, you got to use your local area network if you're on your own computer. If you're on a server box and you're uh, experiencing connection issues, uh, double check your IP, um, make sure the port is port forwarded, and um, still getting issues, I would contact your box uh, host or whoever's hosting your box and see if they have uh, any uh, recommendations for connecting. Obviously, um, because this is a triple uh, platform release, um, I can't cover specific problems with Mac, Windows, or uh, Linux. I do have Linux and Windows. I do not have a Mac, so I am Mac illiterate, basically. The last Mac I had was 10 years ago, give or take a few years. Uh, so anyways, here's the basic server. Uh, as you can see right now, I am default. Yay, I don't have any rights or anything, which basically sucks, so let's change that. Um, one thing they changed with TeamSpeak uh, 3 is you have to go in your logs file. Uh, the You should only have one log because I already created a server. Um, I already have a previous log, but uh, the first log will have uh, something in it called the token. This is like a CD key for a video game, if you don't know what that is. It's just a code that will give you admin permission. Copy it. You can only use it once, so uh, make sure you're logged in as the person you will be. Um, although it shouldn't matter because um, they're using uh, identification now. But uh, just in case, make sure it's the one you're going to be using. You can add create tokens later. I will explain how to do that in this tutorial. Anyways, I just did it. Now I'm server admin. Uh, basically, I can edit anything in this virtual box, the name or anything based on permissions. As you can see, I created a server name. Um, as you can see, I'm very rushed in this tutorial because I'm trying to make it under 10 minutes for TeamSpeak or to YouTube. Sorry. Um, anyways, here now I have all the things um, permissions that uh, were usually blacked out to me. Um, I'm gonna go to Token Manager. As you can see, this is uh, one of the neat things you can create. I can either create a channel or a server. I'm gonna create a server, a new server admin. Essentially, here you go. Close out, and bam, you would give this to your friend. Uh, you can copy it to the clipboard and paste it down to them. I would you send them a private message, of course, not broadcast this over the whole server. But anyways, that's basically a token. Um, let's just say I accidentally did broadcast it on the server. Remove token. Tokens can only be used once, uh, so make sure um, it's the right person, and once they use it, it will disappear just like I deleted it. Uh, another thing you can do is... Uh, uh, Telenet. Here's your Telenet. I'm creating a new one. 
it obviously here's your old telenet for the uh, multiple server uh, virtual boxes actually um, if you're downloading the basic one off of TeamSpeak you're only allowed one virtual box 32 player slot anything else you will need to uh, send a request to uh, get a free license for nonprofit organizations be advised as of right now that website is not online unfortunately otherwise I'd be showing you how to do that in this tutorial so basically what I'm going to do is create something I'm as you can see I'm using free it will generate a password um, save this information because you won't be able to do it again or sometimes you will be able to um, I've had this grayed out before but uh, yeah so basically I have that now uh, Telenet uh, I'm going to show you the basis of Telenet via the Putty. Putty is a free download. Um, you can get it, Google it. If you don't know how to use Google, then you should not be attempting to host a server at all. Um, I'm going to be logging and using my IP address, my local area network, because I'm on my computer. Um, make sure you're set to Telenet. The port is 10011, if you cannot read this. Uh, I will have this, of course, uh, listed in there with download links. Make sure you're set for Telenet. If I did not say that, um, I'm opening it up. Here you go. Use this. Um, this is the basic. I'm not going to go over this stuff because most people won't need this. But I'm showing you how to log in. You do login, server, admin. Uh, then you type in the password. Uh, make sure it is case sensitive, I believe. As you, Yeah, it is. I did something wrong. Okay, I didn't capitalize the T. As you can see, it is case sensitive. So um, now I'm logged in. Um, basic rule of thumb, I always type in help commands. Um, yeah, so here's all your commands. Uh, basically, if you don't know what you're doing, uh, A, don't mess with it unless you know what you're doing. Or uh, go to logs, or not logs, I'm um, sorry, documents. Uh, here's a PDF. Uh, basically, it's very useful if you don't know how to navigate PDFs. Again, you shouldn't be doing this, but uh, here's the basic uh, stuff. Uh, click, and yeah. One thing I would like to note is, again, that you are only allowed one virtual server. So no matter how many times you try to do a server create, it will not work. Um, you're only permitted one with the basic free license. They do not have this in the tutorial. They do have it in uh, server quick start, but I know most of you guys did not read these documents. Because if you would have, you would not have needed this tutorial. But I'm always happy to help, of course. I'm a good person. So basically, that's the basics of this um, server application. Uh, it's pretty, this is the pretty much the speed e version I've done. But um, hope this helps. If you got any questions at all, I know I didn't cover basically anything in here. Uh, there's more functionality once you're logged in. I would recommend doing everything via this because it's way easier to change permissions and all this. They've set it up pretty decently. Uh, other than that, um, the only thing I words of thumb is log in using your uh, uh, LAN IP address um, instead of your uh, WAN. I know some people have been experiencing that problems. If you do not know how to get your LAN IP address, it's start run cmd ip config slash all. I will have this in the description, hopefully. So yeah, um, this is a basic tutorial by Freefall. Um, any questions, feel free to comment or look at the TeamSpeak forums. They're back online now, and I know there are people there, um, fanatics, willing to help. I hope you enjoy this product, because I give this a 10 out of 10 for being a beta. I'm um, sure there are bugs, but... Uh, Compared to the other previous version of TeamSpeak, it's a way step up.